Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Marissa. We are gonna do a fun segment today called How Quickly Can I Pack for a Trip? So I am leaving to go to Cedar Point in like 20-ish minutes and I haven't packed a single thing and that is very unlike me. So what we're gonna do is see how quickly I can get all of my crap together so that we can leave on time. I'm gonna try to talk this entire time. We're gonna see how it goes, but I really, really, really need to get my life together. I'm usually really OCD about packing and being on time and being really organized. And this week was so busy that I put everything off to the last minute. So here we go. This is the bag I'm bringing. It's Vera Bradley. I got it for being in a wedding a few years ago, but I'm not friends with the girl whose wedding I was in anymore. Boo hoo, not that sad about it. Um, don't need any bracelets. I haven't worn any of my rings in literal days because I've gone to the gym. So I gotta put those back on. There's freaking a million of them. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm bringing one bra because it is going to be 8,000 degrees and I don't really feel like I'm gonna need to be wearing a bra the entire time I'm there. So, Air Force Ones, three pairs of socks. Technically I'm only there for two days, but who cares? One bra. You're probably gonna see my back this entire video, I don't really care. I'm just bringing a couple of shirts and like sports bras, cause I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna wanna be wearing. I just got two pairs of shorts from Plato's Closet because I don't have enough black shorts and I'm one of those people that almost always needs to be matching my clothes. So I feel like that usually means I end up wearing black all the time. And I didn't really have that many solid black shorts. So I just had to go get more. And they're just cheaper at Plato's Closet. Like I don't need to be spending that much money getting shorts. So I'm gonna bring two sports bras just in case. I don't really know what the just in case is for, but it's fine. Two pairs of jean shorts. I have like a million pairs of shorts now. I don't really know what kind of mood I'm gonna be in. There's that, my Fitbit, which hasn't worked in the last few days, but I'm bringing it anyway, just in case it spontaneously decides to work while I'm there. That would be awesome. I would love that for me. This charger with the freaking longest cord ever. Bringing two bathing suits because we got water parks for two days while we're there. And I'm really weird about wearing bathing suits that are still wet. So I like to bring one for each day because on the off chance that it doesn't dry, even though I like hang it up, I would just rather have another one just to be safe before I lose my mind trying to put on a wet bathing suit. I'm not like a weird texture person, but I will absolutely never put on a bathing suit that's already wet. So, like I won't wear jeans if they get wet. I don't know. I'm just weird about things like on my body. I'm not a texture person as far as like um, food goes, but definitely things that I'm wearing. Bringing my dynamic fanny pack because that is what I'm gonna be carrying around the park. You are not gonna catch me wearing a backpack like I did in Disney. That was a really rough time for me. I don't know where the heck my portable charger is. I need to run into the bathroom and get the other stuff I'm bringing. Shampoo and conditioner. Putting that in there. Toothbrush, toothpaste, razor. I need to shave while I'm there. Shave last night but I grow hair really, really fast, unfortunately. So it would not surprise me if I needed to shave again. Face wash, aloe. Um, I never really <laughs> need aloe because knock on wood, I don't really burn a lot, which is interesting because I also don't really put on sunscreen. Um, but in case anyone in my family ends up needing it. What else? What else would I be missing? Moisturizer, I don't need hairspray. I'm gonna look in here just to see if there's anything. 
I am drastically forgetting. Oh, I'll bring this. Zip repair cream, it's a lifesaver. Um, especially when you're wearing masks, it is very, very helpful if you're breaking out. Uh, it would also be really helpful if I packed underwear. Haven't cracked that yet. Am I the only person that packs like a million pairs of underwear for no reason at all? I don't know why. I've never needed more than one pair of underwear um, in one day. So I don't really know why I do that, but I pack underwear like my life is gonna depend on it. No matter how long I'm gonna be gone. I don't know, I don't know what that is. But I do it all the time because I feel like you just never want to find out too late that you didn't pack enough underwear. I don't really know. All right, what else? I want to find my wireless charger. Oh, it's in here. I'm so stupid. Oh my goodness. It's been in here the whole time, Marissa. You're just an idiot. Obviously. That's where I keep all of my like technology stuff. So I don't know why I just forgot that. Okay. Socks, sneakers, underwear, a bra, shirts I can wear without a bra, shorts, jean shorts, shirt that I can sleep in, um, melatonin, lotion, face wash, shampoo, conditioner, razor, goggles, aloe, phone charger, Fitbit, Fitbit charger, charger for my portable charger, um, fanny pack, toothbrush, toothpaste, moisturizer. I also have to grab my like fiber powder, but that's in the kitchen. Um, I have stomach issues, so I have to put fiber powder in my drink every single day, probably for the rest of my life, whatever. Um, hair ties, little hair ties, brush, comb. Mm, that might be everything that I need in here. I can't really think of anything else. Uh, I really hope I'm not missing anything. This is why I never let myself wait till the last minute to pack because then I feel like I'm gonna forget something. So if I go all the way to Ohio and I do forget something, I'm gonna be really mad when I go back to edit this video and realize that I'm an idiot. But that's all I can think of right now. I have a sub in the fridge that I'm gonna eat. I have my fiber in the kitchen. I have my moisturizer. Um, I can't think of anything else. I have to, I'm gonna grab my Dramamine. That's in the car, or that's in the bathroom. I'm not really good with road trips. Sometimes I get a headache, so I usually take Dramamine. I'm gonna get that. Lifesaver. Um, I get headaches a lot when I'm stuck in a car for too long. So I usually like to take a Dramamine because it makes me drowsy enough to not get like motion sick in the car. I don't actually get sick. I just get a headache and I get nauseous. I also don't really eat on road trips ever. So the less I eat, the more nauseous I feel. I don't really know. But whenever I take Dramamine, it makes me a little drowsy so that I can tolerate the road trip and I'm not like feeling sick to my stomach the whole entire time. But I think that's everything that I need in here. And this is how big my bag is now. But thanks for keeping up with me. Um, I'm gonna pick this video back up later and we'll just see what's happening. I don't really know where this vlog is gonna take us, but that's how you pack for a trip in less than 20 minutes. Okay, I'm back. I just got something from Amazon and I was really, really hoping that they would deliver this before I left. So I'm really glad that they did because it is an automatic feeder and waterer for Binks while I'm gone. Binks is my cat, if you're new to this. Um, and now I don't have to ask my roommate to keep an eye on him and make sure that he has food and water. So, ooh, can I not open this? I just ordered it from Amazon probably two days ago. And I don't know why I waited till the last possible minute because I knew that I was gonna need it. But I'm hoping that this works and I don't have to mess around too much. I think it was like $35 or something. It was like not expensive at all, but this will make my life a hell of a lot easier. See, 
So good, so cute. Now he can eat and drink and not starve to death while I'm gone. Question four for 20 points. <laughs> by Sia. Kapow. Five hours later and we're here. Um, we're gonna see how this goes today because my family is already driving me insane. So, we're here for three nights. We're going to Cedar Point for two days. I might kill my sister at some point in time because she thinks that we're gonna get murdered because we're staying in, like, it's not a motel, but you like walk up to the door instead of, maybe that does make it a motel. I don't care, it's nice, it had four stars. She's just a big baby and she watches too much Dateline, but thanks for coming to my channel. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. Bye.